In the late 19th and early 20th century, the United States has stepped into a progressive era. Driven by massive wealth accumulation and rapid technology advancement, the social atmosphere then created the birth of modern philanthropy. John Davison Rockefeller, one of the richest men in the world, had sent his charitable donations to church since childhood. The responsibility of giving to others is very uh, important value that was passed on. While JDR Sr. was building his oil empire, he also created a greater philanthropic empire. The major focus was on medicine and education. He asked his son, JDR Jr., who was a fan of Chinese culture, to manage the philanthropic empire. For CMB, the goal was to create an institution that would be on Chinese soil and that would be ultimately owned and operated by the Chinese. In 1921, Peking Union Medical College, a beautiful medical school designed and established by Americans, came into being on the former site of Prince Yu's palace. A circle of elite Americans wanted to offer the best of Western civilization to the Far East. They designed PUMC just as another Johns Hopkins School of Medicine. It was going to train the medical leaders of the world. It was not just that it brought the Western medicine model to the West. 而且他也是带来一些新的这个思维方式。As a result of the shared effort of elite Chinese and Americans, the modern medical dream has increasingly been realized not only in China but also in Far East. economic downturns and political turmoils of the 20th century, CMB survived four wars and three revolutions while continuing its low-profile philanthropic work. The board of CMB decided to expand the same kind of program by strengthening medical education and research through about 17 countries in Asia. After 1951, CMB extended its single grant program to more than a thousand in order to push forward the modern medical development in the Far East. It spared no effort to fulfill its mission. In the second half of the 20th century, the world has undergone profound changes such as the establishment of Sino-US diplomatic relations and the collapse of the Cold War. This opened a new door for CMB to shift its strategy. China Medical Board 
should be a platform for the very best medical ideas, not just uh, for China, but globally. Through collaborative partnership, CMB is promoting its cutting-edge philanthropic idea in China and Southeast Asia. In a time of change in medicine, as a result of globalization and modernization, CMB has put its vision to the 21st century. Focus what we do. Make change. The China Medical Board can be kind of a neutral convener for people and institutions to come together. That's something we will continue definitely to do. A bunch of preachers of idealism and scientism with a simple mission and strong insistence have enabled CMB to seize historic opportunity and earn the world's respect. Science should be open borders. And in a different time, that was certainly the Rockefeller philosophy. Very idealistic, but it's good there's some idealism, you know, left in this era. We've had a wonderful 100 years and we're delighted that the lifespan of the average Chinese has doubled in this last 100 years. And we will do our best in targeting the small amounts of funds and effort that we can make to contribute to that national improvement over the next century. China Medical Board has already started a new strategic shift accompanied with a charming mission, working for everyone to enjoy a healthy life, to change this world so that every life can achieve the perfect blossom.